Moore Syndication presents Power Town and AgriPower. Moore Syndication sells two different electrical safety models which can be energized with the 10,000 volt current. Either is used by electrical utilities to demonstrate electrical contact hazards. One model is called Power Town. It comes in 4 foot and 8 foot versions and contains contact hazards commonly found in cities or towns. In this video, the 8 foot model will be demonstrated. AgriPower is the second model. It features many of the same contact hazards as PowerTown, plus others unique to a farming operation. Both models come with one or two tables. The four-foot PowerTown has one table and the eight-foot PowerTown has two. AgriPower has two tables only. Tables are made of lightweight wood. Legs fold out from the base. Dowels are easily aligned with holes to join the tables together. Velcro strips hold them in place. Grounding cables are connected with a plug and socket underneath the tables. All other components are stored in plastic cases. The power supply for the PowerTown unit is located in the house. It is positioned on the table. The power cord plugs into a standard wall socket and a foot switch is wired into the cord. Additionally, the circuit is controlled by an on-off switch located on the back of the house and protected by a 3 amp fuse. The switch on the house must be in the on position in order to operate the foot switch. Lights on the front and back of the house light up when the model is energized. Power pole assemblies are fitted into pre-drilled holes on the tabletop. Electrical connection is made by plugging the power cord into the house. Both models come with a table skirt which attaches with a Velcro fastener. Made of plastic coated banner material, skirts can be customized with the customer's logo, name and message. The cost of customization is included in the purchase price. A spring-loaded hot stick is included with each model. The hot stick is used to safely manipulate components while the model is energized. Both PowerTown and AgriPower can be demonstrated from the front or the back of the model. The demonstration can be varied because of space constraints or the preference of the operator. Both PowerTown and AgriPower models come with an electronic sound module which will produce the sound of an exploding transformer. The module is housed in a small plastic box measuring two and a half inches square by one and a quarter inches deep. It is powered by three AA batteries. The module features a built-in speaker and micro switch. The module is used to demonstrate the result of a contact between a metal ladder and a service drop. The model's operator either conceals the module in his or her hand or places the module behind the house. Then, the operator slides the ladder figure toward the house's service drop. At the instant contact is made, the operator depresses the button on the sound module to produce a sharp sound of a transformer exploding. The sound module is far more reliable and less expensive to operate than earlier versions. The following electrical contact hazards can be demonstrated on both the 4-foot and 8-foot PowerTown models. Raising an antenna into an overhead line. Energizing a metal fence with a downed line. Energizing a school bus with a downed line. Contacting a kite with an overhead line. 
contacting a long metal object with an overhead line. Contacting a tree limb with an overhead line. Contacting an open pad mount transformer. On the 8-foot model, utilities can demonstrate hazards posed by crossing a substation fence. Also, the 8-foot model contains a demonstration of contacting a sailboat mast with an overhead line. Both Powertown and AgriPower models come with operations manuals. Chapters cover model setup, presentation tips, and contain sample scripts for various audiences. Moore Syndication is proud to market both of these quality educational products. Additional spare parts and repair services are available if needed. Moore Syndication represents an array of educational safety products for electrical and natural gas utilities. Call for more information or visit our website at www.moorsyndication.com.